Richard Southern joins us again to chat about some of the days. More interesting stories, and we begin with more revelations about the Pentagon's investigation into UFOs. And Richard, what are we learning today? Well, we've known it for a while that the, the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee is going to come out with uh, a report on, on what it knows about this phenomenon. And this is a phenomenon that, that really we started to take seriously in December of 2017 when the New York Times did a big front page story. And, and videos like this started to come out. These are videos shot by U.S. Navy personnel of objects going at speeds and performing maneuvers that nothing we know of can can do. We got a sense last night of what this report might contain. The New York Times, Melissa, out with some leaked info on this report. Apparently it found 120 incidents over 20 years to be unexplainable. U.S. officials, though, know it's not American technology, but couldn't definitively rule in or out that it's alien. Now, Melissa, a lot of these videos that we're looking at, some of them were released and subsequently confirmed to be authentic by the Pentagon by filmmaker Jeremy Corbell. I had a chance to talk to him. Take a look. Isn't the fact that the report exists itself and is representing the will of the American public, you know, kind of good enough that there, it's not going to be a whitewash, that they're going to say, in essence, a confirmation? There are unidentified. Are there actual, like, high-quality 4K definition shots of these things that the military has? Do you know that yes. for a fact? Yes. They, there is. Have yes. you seen them? I, I couldn't say. Do you think we will ever see them as a public? I hope so. You're trying to get that out there? Yes, I am. So clearly there is much more to come on this. I should mention as well, uh, we're going to have a full report, more of my interview with Jeremy Corbell coming up on City News at 6 tomorrow on Saturday. Are you amazed by this? Or do you think that that maybe it's something not alien. What do you think about this, Melissa? Man, like it's kind of spooky, but hey, if it's unexplained, you know, I, I'm they should, sure. They should explain it then, right? They should, they should, should look into it. They should explain it. What's going on over there? But that one image you showed kind of looked like Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a tr big triangle over yeah. the ship off the U.S. East Coast. It was flashing. The NASA chief speaking to CNN yesterday also said that there should be more of an effort to look into this. So, again, this is just the beginning of the story, I think. Wow, some fascinating stuff. Now, remember the Netflix series Tiger King? It helped us all get through the first pe uh, pandemic lockdown, but that bizarre story isn't over yet, Richard. Uh, they're making a dramatic TV series of this. This is just what we wanted, right? More Tiger King, <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, anyways, the news, the dramatic series. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be based on that documentary you're talking about that brought us inside the world of Joe Exotic, uh, uh, eccentric guy who exhibited big game, uh, big game uh, cats, and he also had a hate on for a woman named Carol Baskin. Uh, we now know who's cast to play these people, and I want to get your take on this. Dennis Quaid will oh, star as <laughs> not bad, right? Not bad. Yeah, I see it. I He's going to play work. the producer, Joe's producer in the show. <laughs> Kate McKinnon is going to play the role of Carol Baskin. What yes, do you think about that? I think that's not actually bad. great. That's going to be good. <laughs> Cameron Mitchell will play Joe Exotic himself. He's going to have to grow the mullet oh, wow. to do that one. Uh, he's given I, up a lot for this role, hey? I thought you and I could, you could play Carol Baskin. I could play Joe Exotic. <laughs> we can make that work, right? Oh, man. it's uh, We could, sure. Why, why not? What, what happened to your husband? Tell us. Come on, we know what happened to him. What did you do to him? <laughs> man, it's just a, it's a show that keeps on giving, and apparently it's not stopping, so... Hey, we'll take it, right? <laughs> Craziness. <laughs> awesome. Ha have a good weekend. We'll see you, you on Monday, and we'll be watching City News at 6 tomorrow with you. Thank Melissa. you. We'll, we'll see you on Monday as well. Have a great weekend. Thanks.